A reading from the book of Matthew. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the 99 on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. So it is not the will of your father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. This story of the lost sheep also appears in the book of Luke. It's a little more expanded there. Here, as you read it, you, I think, recognize that Jesus is talking about um, people. And Luke makes it a little more explicit that, um, that the parable is about people by ending it in a way that identifies that. So there is um, overlap and there's a little bit of difference. But this parable also reminds me of the parable of the um, prodigal son, which also is about a human being um, and also has similarities and differences. One of the similarities being that this um, son leaves home, right? He takes off and goes away um, willfully. We don't know whether the sheep left willfully or not, but we know that the son did and comes to a point. Uh, one difference is that he comes to a point where he realizes that he would be better off at home and he returns home. And the other similarity for me is the rejoicing. The shepherd rejoices when he finds that sheep and the father and the prodigal son rejoices so much that he decides to have a big party. And of course, the son who stayed there all the time is offended, which is a good lesson for us to remember. Um, are we offended that God rejoices at um, bringing in to the fold someone who has been lost uh, and rejoicing over it, even perhaps to the extent of being happier about bringing in that lost person than about all the people who've already been saved. It's something to think about. I think the message that I take away from it though is that God cares for all of his creation. And he doesn't desire for any one of us to be lost and remain lost. And it's not just, it should not just be God's concern. It should also be our concern. And so rather than just being happy that we're Christians, that we have chosen to follow Christ, we have a commission from Christ that sends us out into the world to find those lost sheep to help them find their direction back to Christ. And that is the work that we should be very serious about doing. I know that for many people, it feels like an awkward work. Should I talk to my friend about my faith or shouldn't I talk to my friend, a friend about my faith? You know, how will they feel? How will they feel about me if I talk to them about it? But we should be just as concerned as this shepherd was over that sheep, that our friends, our neighbors, um, our co-workers, perhaps, our people who are lost and who our creator desires to be found. And so we really should be about this work of sharing our faith of inviting people to come worship with us, to study the Bible with us, anything that we can do to help them to find their way back to their creator. Let's be about that. Amen.